everybody, welcome to Song of Ice and Fire Battle Report. I'm here with Clarence. Dun, 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 and he's, and he's going to teach me how to play play I don't Starks. Know that. I don't know that. You're gonna teach me how to play Starks. I'll try. You're good. You said you said Starks are good, and you're going to be good with Starks. Starks are good. I'm going to play Lannisters, and we're going to we're going to switch sides and try to do this, and and we're going to we're going to game all the thrones. We're going to play the different mission. What was the mission that you liked? It was uh, I. Uh, I There's like, the escalating I, one. I the dead like, bodies one is too complicated for me. No, it's easy, bro. Are you sure? It's just it's actually horrible for Starks. Okay. It's all morale based. Right, but they have the best morale. But you have Cersei. Oh, but I have Cersei. <laughs> but I have Cer of course I have Cersei. Uh, so what was the other one? There's um, Game of Thrones. I, I, there's, there's five more. Uh, there's three more. Sorry. Yeah. I, it's all based in the books. So there's yeah. uh, a Storm of Swords. Yeah. A Storm of Swords is the one that didn't require objectives. I think it was just killing each other. Well, because one of them's like killing each other. There's, we're gonna play the one that's, that was. Something. Is more. It was more of just like a traditional battle game. Right. It wasn't like random objectives, cool. but still, it's a thirty-five point game. So we're gonna be playing to ten points, and I'll be the win trigger. So we'll show the forces. We'll show the table and get this underway. All right. So here's my Lannisters I'm playing with today, uh, and we have Gregor Clegane, the Mountain in Charge's commander. We have my two NCU's, which are going to be Cersei and um, the Imp, which is Tyrion, uh, and then he is leading unit of halberdiers. Uh, we've got Jamie leading the Mountains men, and then we have two units of guards with guards. Capitans hanging out here. So 34 points total, uh, 22 for the um, the four combat units, and then eight for the uh, two NCUs, and then four points in heroes. Jamie is two, and the two guard captains are each one. So 34 points, not a point, but that's okay. And here's something new for the Starks. I was busy painting, so I painted up a second unit of Berserkers and Outriders uh, to play with. So it's double Outrider, double Berserker, Grey Wind with John. John's in one of these units right here. Uh, and then we have, of course, um, Rob. It's Rob. To Rob. That's right, John. 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 They're all look the same. <laughs> all those Starks look the same. Targaryens. And then uh, we have um, Sansa and Catelyn as the two NCUs. A clash of Kings. Deployment is long. Uh, range from the table edges and flank edges. So in the diagram, so in the corners. We have to deploy two units from our army. The others are put in reserves. Um, and the commander of the army has to be in one of those two units. Then we place objective token in the center of the table, which I've uh, is pro tip. White tack them down so they can't move as we run our trays over top of them. The center one's worth two VPs each round. The flank ones are worth one each. And our reserves will arrive at the beginning of um, round two. And they can deploy as it's activation. They can be placed anywhere fully within long range of your table edge or fully within short range of a flank edge that you control. So you control a flank edge if you control one of these two sides. So basically you can come in uh, anywhere within long range, deploy long range from your edge, or six inches from the other two sides. Now when a unit's destroyed, it goes back into reserve. The only thing that doesn't go back into reserve is your characters, so your characters can't come back. Note though that controlling them isn't the side that you deploy on. When you control a flank token, you actually deploy on the opposite edge. So you can't just dump units basically into the side that you already control. So roll out for deployments, and I get a one. You get a, awesome. I also get a stop one. that. All right, so you All get right. to pick a cor pick a side and deploy first. <laughs> Deployed. I've got halberdiers with the mountain, and then across from here we've got some Lannister guards. Uh, you have Grey Wind, yep. and Rob with berserkers. Yeah. Deployed. So we are on a turn of one. It's to ten. Yeah, you, uh, you go first. You I can I can choose. I think you won the roll. So you have the throne. So I have the throne. There's no roll. Throne, that's right. And we go back and forth. So I am going to. I well, think. I wonder what you're going to do think, there. Do I just want to obliterate Grey Wind? He could come back later, though. He can't. He's a unique. Player. Yeah, I don't think I care about that that much right now. What? We're just, we're just, just gonna. Oh no, he can't come back. Yeah, let's just obliterate Grey Wind. Make a, make. Oh, no, even two plus courage. Don't you? I'm gonna get a plus courage. He's leadership. He'll be leadership six. Try for it. See if we can make Grey Wind die. Ah! Go for it. <laughs> so you're minus three, so it's two plus, and <gasps> you die. Oh, that's a two. That's right. That's yes. exactly a two. High is, High is good, low is bad. Uh, so she's down. Back to you. No need to jump on that anymore. Nope. So uh, let's just do the obvious, I guess. Let's just uh, let's advance these jabronis. Okay. So they Take move six because they're berserker dudes. They are berserker dudes. So they're going to march. So 12 takes them all the way to here. So they will stop here. And they can do a pivot. Actually, I think does, Rob gets a free maneuver. Character Rob gets the free maneuver before he starts. You just get the disorderly charges. I'm gonna just pivot like so. Looks good. Let's drop Tyrion on the maneuver, and we'll have these fellas maneuver, uh, and they're going to pivot. Go four, because they're. Oh no, they go five actually. They're halberdiers. Whoop, and then pivot again. You. 
So none of the rest of it is good, unfortunately. No. <laughs> no one's taking any casualties, and you can draw tactics. So Cycling your hand's pretty good. at any time, so yep. uh, no incentive right now to get jiggy with it. So your jabronis move four or five? They do four. Four because they have shields. So yeah. Ten is the maximum for your charge. Make sure my dog doesn't die here. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So ten. How far is ten? Is the wall. All right. So there's no way if I get onto this objective. That's right. Because I want to get my reinforcements from that side. You got it. Yep. Right. And then you so get a free maneuver because he's gray wins. Gray wind. Boop. He's gonna go six four this way. And you can march afterwards even if right. he wants. And then you're gonna pivot again and then march twelve just to be on top of that thing. Right, Grey wind's all done. Uh, we're gonna go with the mountains men then, and they're gonna march, and they can go ten. So not the mountains men, um, the halberdiers. They're gonna go ten. And straight ahead, and then pivot. You. All right. So I guess we have the boring stuff. You so do. You are, you, are you completely done? Uh, I have the how, the unit of guards. Oh, those guys. Left. Cool. So yeah, I guess I'll just do the obvious thing. I'll just put Sansa on. Um, draw tactics. Draw tactics cards. Makes sense. So where is my deck? All right. It's over to me, uh, and we will just march. I think with these fellas. So lose minus two movements if I touch that thing. And I might as well. Because I'll destroy it when it's done. And it goes away. Bye. And then we'll pivot like so. Everyone is now activated except for uh, uh, Caitlin. Caitlin. She goes on somewhere useful. Uh, we could heal. So oh, I can attack. put a condition on you. I forgot to put a condition on you. Yep. You got I'll put a. Who's got the guards? Over there? Guards? So put a panic token on these drones. On these guys? Get up on a fight? Not fight, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, it's on turn two. You have the throne, sir. Yay! Activate. Yeah, I don't want to get charged into flank by, by dudes. That's probably a good idea. So I'm going to make sure I'm ten away from you. So roughly it'll be like this. So it's so a free here. maneuver first. What's this thing? Uh, that's water. It's my city move through. Maneuver. So I was going to jump onto this. But the problem is then the mounds is going to butcher the dog. Yep. That's no good either. And then overrun into your berserkers. Correct. And normally he's actually pretty tough, but the mountain does D3 automatically. He just kills him, yeah. So on three plus, he just, just kills me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do this. He's going to maneuver here. Okay. It'll leave, not okay, go near the hindering slash thing. Yeah, he's going to go six this way. Okay. Then he's got his 12 still. So he's going to, so he's got a regular move left, right? Mm -hmm. So he is just going to, he's going to maneuver, not march. So he's going to move forward uh, maybe three. He's going to pivot like so. Is that division Great. done? Yeah. It's on to me. All right. Well, do we just obliterate Rob? Let's do Tyrion. He's just going to jump on maneuver for the mountains, man. Uh, and they're going to, I think, march. And they'll just march forward. Uh, I think maneuver is just six. It's always maneuver. That's right. That's right. It's always maneuver. That's right. Yeah. So they're just going to move their five then. Like so, just be like that. You. So, um, we'll put Sansa on the throne. Okay. Who's gonna make big test? The Clegane no. man. Okay. So they are uh, able to reroll uh, because you panicked them, and they are normally because they are halberdiers. Seven plus, and my one. Uh, so six. So is guy. Mm -hmm. We roll a die. Yeah, I'll make you reel the two. Okay. That's a four, it's a nine now. So they are, uh, I passed. Why'd you make me reel the two? Oh, the five, sorry. I keep on thinking. That's okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> okay. Way. Other way. <laughs> Six now. All right, so it's a five, which means I was two guys. I'm thinking 40K. That's okay, yep. My bad. <laughs> Makes more sense. Uh, and now I think we go and make more people dead. That means a march. And we'll go whoop. And then pivot. So you, the guards have spoken. Oh. Actually, going to bring in a cavalry unit. Yeah. And they come into play within a long, and that's their whole action. Is it along the whole board edge? Yep. Whole board edge. Your whole board edge. So they will just go here. We're going to go. And we're going to restore three wounds on the halberdiers. And then uh, we will also remove a condition. But there's no condition I want to remove. It's over to you. <clears throat> okay. Zerker's on. Yeah. And then coming on long. Oh, you control that now. I do. So you can come in from here. I can. Ah, awesome. Thing. I like it. Gonna drop this unit of Lannister guards on within six. So it's within short. And that means they can be up to here. Cavalry. More cavalry. Um, can units move through units in this game? They sure can. can move through friendly units. Yeah, friendly units, absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll just. All right, mountains men time. 
Where you want to go, mountains, man? Attach her card to Rob's unit. I forgot to do that during the no problem. The attachment phase. We're gonna drop these guys over here on the flank within short. Since for you, you've just got uh, Catlin left. Wow. And Rob, yeah. Treat. treat is you move speed plus a d6, but can we stop yep. here? We can pivot. How far is this? Next turn, if you charge me, it is uh, more than seven. Yep. If you go straight. So you are moving five, five. So, so it's two plus right now. Two plus, yeah, two plus right now. If I get, they have not activated yet. Nope. So I have to take that, actually, because I can't expose my flank to your charge. Nope, there. you'll die. I will die a horrible death. Okay. Yes. All right, well, it's over to me then, and we're going to charge. Okay. So D6 plus uh, two. So it's going to be a total of seven, which should make it. Going straight ahead. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yep. So we slam in. And I claim this, but then I leave it, so it won't stay. So, we've got Lannisters, and these are the Halberdiers. Uh, they have seven attacks, hitting on fours. So four plus from the Halberdiers. Uh, two hits, minus one from Sundering. So sixes. sixes. Nope. Nothing, so two dead. Pop. And then the Mountain kills D3 by himself, because he's the Mountain. And it's gonna be one. Pop. Uh, and then you need to make a morale at minus uh, two. You're panicked during my charge as well. It's a mountain, so their normal morale is... Four, five, six now. Okay. Uh, you can reroll the four. Okay, that is that. I'm gonna drop on to have a fight. Have a fight, which okay. is gonna influence uh, this unit, obviously, so they fight at full power. Sounds good. I'm gonna play Paid Mutiny Test, um, or... Uh, your attachment is all your ability, and you take D3 wounds. Okay. So, uh, so six. Nope, that's a fail. That's a three. Yep. So I take D3, D3 wounds. wounds, and you, which means you get angrier. So two. two. Uh, oh. And your attachments is all their abilities, so Rob doesn't get any abilities. Northern Ferocity, which makes yep. me vulnerable because you control the swords. Yep. And because of Caitlyn, they fight extra hard, so they fight at full power with ten dice. Go get them. Hit them good. Hit on threes. threes. No rerolls though, because they didn't charge. Oh, I got to reroll my failed rolls to hit. No, not against uh, Rob. Well, not against Rob, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and six wounds minus one. That's right. Uh, so six more saves, and they have four plus normally, which means they have five plus. And vulnerable token. There we go. <laughs> vulnerable token, reroll that garbage. That's good. <laughs> yeah! So that's going to be six dead. Just seven plus, we're okay. I'll score one at the end of the round for controlling that objective. And that looks like turn. Crown passes to me. Jamie's gonna charge the flank. Cool. A two, you do? Yep. Uh, so just wanna move them in. Eight attacks, 10 because Jamie's there. Uh, and he lets them fight with two extra attacks when they have full ranks. Yep. They hit on threes and sixes explode. Okay. Uh, so pretty good. plus two, so 12 hits, 12 saves. He's here in the flank though, so 12. Six up six. All right, I gotta make a lot of saves here. I think you might be dead. I think I'm, I'm not might be dead, probably. I think you're definitely dead. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead, okay. So Rob and them all die. So I score three more points. You yep. go to four, because I killed your enemy commander. And I'm gonna play Overrun, because I destroyed a unit. You know the charge into the flank of those knights. Okay. Uh, D6. I'll make it. Yep. So the flank, again, hit on threes. Yep. And rerolling all my misses. No sixes this time. Uh, but nine hits. Okay. And minus one save because it's in the flanks of fives. So and five up. Fives. So one's good. So it's uh, eight wounds. Eight wounds. So, so all six. but. You get three wounds each. Yeah, three wounds each, six, and then two wounds on that guy. Minus two your morale test uh, because of the. Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, minus two because of the uh, the mountains men being vicious. And the flanks are minus three. Minus three, yeah. So six goes to nine. So three more wounds, one guy's down to two wounds. Awesome. Yeah. Pop. One guy's got one wound left. Yeah, that's yeah. right, two wounds left. One guy's got one wound left. Yeah. One wound left, that's yeah. four, four remaining. Uh, for each model removed by this test, because you failed a back test, I'm going to restore a wound to a friendly infantry unit within short range. Okay. Uh, so we'll put one back in the mountains, man. Feign retreat, because I melee attacked you before you activate. And they, have not, they have not yet activated, right, no. these guys? No, okay. they have not. But you get to make a, sorry, a retreat, so it's D6 plus your move. Yeah, so That'd be any direction. six. Uh, let's pass me this, please. Uh, six plus three, three is nine. nine. So just gonna back up to here. Went. Yeah. Free maneuver. Yeah. He's just gonna. Hmm. Do I play the long game, <laughs> or do I charge you in the flank? So either I jump also on top useful. of this. Yep. Or do I jump into here and get your flank? Um, I'm not gonna kill you. Nope. Um, I can put debuffs on you though, because Graham is cool, yeah. right? He, he does. Yep. Cool. 
He's, he gives he's you scary. Horrible. He does, and you could charge me. You just be minus one movement for going over the the wall. Charge, okay. Yeah. How, how far away are you? You're he's gonna move six and charge. Oh, maneuver six, maneuver six in the charge, right. yeah. So he's gonna you actually maneuver to my here. rear, potentially, too, if you mm, want. Nah, six is not enough. Okay. I'm gonna get on my first side arc. Right. So I'm just gonna pivot. Yep. And then D6. So. You minus one, but it'll destroy that unit, so the wall will be gone when this is over. Yep. Oh, this is the wrong dice. Yeah, this is D3. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to roll this white dice. We made that mistake before. Free charge. And. You're all day. All yep. day. In you go. He's gonna go into the. Do you want to sideways 50, 50, it? 50 yeah. 50 50, so somebody else can go too. Makes yep. sense. Two attacks and on twos. Yes. Go get them. One. one reroll, charged. Reroll. That's right, charged. Two, two. So and minus one. Minus one because the flanks. So five ups. Make one. Yeah, lose one. Get minus one. Mm -hmm. Seven plus. Uh, it's a six. We lose another guy. Yep. Gain vulnerable because you charged me. Yes, in the flank with the gray wind. All right. I gain vulnerable. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see how this game works. All right. Well then, uh, we are going to take. Doctor, Mister, the Tyrion, and he's gonna drop on here. Okay. And now these guys make a free attack, so they make a free spin. Yep. Before they fight, and we also claim this token conveniently. It's not a move. I don't know if we claim it or not. Uh, and then we fight. I'm just gonna do the D3 from the mountain because okay. that's all that let's matters. Start with that. Let's just let's just see if that just kills you. Sit. Yep. <laughs> Free maneuver. Um, so we maneuver. We maneuver. Five. Recharge. Yeah. You get a free maneuver. Which is nice. You could just go through the woods. It is hindering, so two dice pick the so lowest. Just give it. Yep. Like this. And, and then move your six. Forward. And that's mostly in your rear arc. Yep. So then, uh, so I have to pivot first, right? And then try and get to you, right? Yep. You got it. So that so is already less than six. So yep. just a just, one. It, well, one means oh. you don't get your charge bonus, right? So right. two dice pick the lowest. Ah! Well, that one for me. Six and a five. You're fine. And it's not destructible, so you just sit in it. Some fours. Fours! Ah. Wait, hold on. I've got some cards to play. Okay. <laughs> Impact. This is the cab unit. You don't control the horsey. Yes. Uh, but you do get to reroll your charge distance die, and uh, the attack deals an additional two automatic hits. So you get two hits for free. Fours and rerolls. Fours. No. Nicely no, done. No. Reroll. So it's plus two, so nine hits total. Plus two, so fives. Five plus. I saved two, so that's going to be four, seven. Uh, I'll make it eight and kill a guy automatically with my guard captain okay. to auto pass. That makes you make a pass to minus two. Eight. They're good. Good. Okay. Well, Cersei, do your terrible business. <laughs> you can jump on there, uh, and I think you're just going to try and splat them. Okay. Why not? Why not? Uh, leadership. Six goes to nine, right? So you nine, go to dead. Dead. Explode. Pop, to the point. And goes to seven. At? Just six now. Jesus. Because them. Yeah, I've got guards uh, and the Cleganes still because they haven't activated because that was great wins. They um, they did a fight from pre combat. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for the long bomb, I guess. Okay. So this is uh, more than nine, so ten. Sure. Right. So you need a four. Looks good. Oh, I should have saved that card for this. <laughs> the reroll charge card. Yep. Uh, great. Ash. You can do it. Winter's coming. I believe you. Four plus. Go get him. No! You fail. Seven? So we're going to pivot and then move up seven. Uh, eight. Right? Eight. That's right. Yeah, because you're going to go for the thing. Uh, does this slow you down? It's minus one, yeah. So I go seven. So I go would have exploded me. Uh, all right. So they've both gone. Um, these guys have all gone. I guess I could turn around and fight you over here, but then you might break away. Uh, well, they're going to attempt to charge them. Uh, even if I can't do it, I just want to get on the objective. <laughs> That's fair. Ah, we only go six, which conveniently is not enough to get us an objective. Whoop. We did a three plus, and we would have gone to nine. Okay. <laughs> Minus Rob, your unit can activate and come on table. Up with the Berserkers. I expose my flank, which is you horrible. do, yeah. But it's more than eight. So it's a three plus? It's a three plus. Yeah. No, four plus. It's more than eight. Well, let's see, move six. It's right now five. Right. You got it, and you are going first next turn. Yep. They've activated. They've activated. Yep. So these guys will turn around and swing. Okay. Because you might as well. Yes, white tacking these down was a good idea. Three attacks with one rank left. On fours? We're terrible. Yeah, take three hits. Ah! Die. Just die. Four plus. Four plus. <laughs> Kills a guy. Wow. Okay. I'm into it. Yeah. That's panicking. Yep. Leadership six. 
Okay, fine. My characters now, eh? These guys just march. Oh no, yeah, that was me. It's you. Yeah. Got your characters. Um, so I'm gonna put Sansa on. So wait, her thing is replace. Search for a card. Go on the money bags. Yep. Heal somebody. Well. Oh, hold on here. Because if I move, I can move here six anyway and guarantee the charge without. You got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You go so on the horsey. That. So you don't need to restore wounds too badly. Or don't want to draw more tactics cards. How many cards do I have right now? Cards, I guess. You draw more cards for Sansa. Cool. And I get the but a token. Sweet. But a, so this is still on them. Sweet. Yeah. So I'll put the panic token on them, I guess. Okay. And the mountain goes panicked. And then I'm gonna put back in the reroll. No, I don't need that reroll charge card anymore. Because I'm gonna guarantee get the charge in when they move. If you move in, yeah. I'm gonna march um, into this. Yep. That's my attrition now. Yeah, yeah. Just march on this. Whoop. And then pivot. Mm, like that, I guess. It's ability to grab a card, and then where's Catelyn going? Catelyn's going on maneuver. Cool. So he was gonna see. I would have brought the knight. I would have brought the cab on first, and then and then maneuver them again. The berserkers, though, because you want to yes. you want to try and kill the mountain. I gotcha. Yes. Correct. So Sounds pivot, good. And then move six just to here, because I go first, guarantee next turn, right? Yep. Stop activation. Bring your knights back. No, it already. That's right. They, they retreated. That's no, they retreated when I attacked them. Oh yeah, that's right. They haven't activated yet. That's right. Those knights get to go because yeah, the retreat move that the knights make is only when they are targeted by a melee attack. So you get to move. That's right. In the back. Oh, sorry. Uh, I could go here. I guess you right. can be facing any way you want inside that twelve. Uh, yeah. I get a free maneuver anyway. Can I flip through here? No. Um. Yeah, we'll just go like this. <laughs> okay. End of the round. I'll score this and this. Yep. And because I couldn't roll a three plus, I don't win this round. Otherwise, the mountain would have just taken the middle. Uh, the throne goes to you. Go ahead and blur the mountain. As I'm panicked and vulnerable. Yeah. You can do it, and then I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Round three. Where are you gonna go? I think it's kinda obvious. Obvious, gotta, gotta do this. Bam. Makes sense. Roll one, give me that disorderly charge. Yeah! <laughs> no rerolls! I got him. All right, so this is gonna make you, uh, this makes me vicious, you're minus two yep. leadership. I just need them to blow up. Y yes. yes. I'm pretty sure they will. All right, so I have eight attacks. I have vulnerable and panicked on me. This was, this was always gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. So threes. No rerolls. Nope. So four hits. Yep. Minus two. Minus sundering two. Sundering and flank. I normally have a four, which means a six. I have to reroll these successes. Yes. I assume. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's four dead, uh, which means the mountain's still alive. Yep. Uh, he's got courage, not great. Seven plus, and you're in my flank, so eight plus. Seven, and I don't think you're gonna roll it because I'll kill him. Right, go to three because that's my general and a unit kill. Three maneuver. What can I do here? That's pivot. pivot and then move. move and then pivot again. And pivot again. Yeah, why not? Right. Okay. Sure. Or so that uh, Jamie can't just kill you. Yeah. We're gonna have the mountains men do their thing, and we're gonna have Mr. Tyrion Lannister do a maneuver. Okay. Uh, now you can free maneuver. So we're gonna go. Like this, we're gonna move our five. Like so, and then we're gonna pivot again, just to be friends with everybody. You can go to my flank, but you can't end on top of your friends. So I think like that. We're done, over to you. Okay. He has in flank, sounds good. Go get him. Good. We'll go full. As much as we, I guess we can do this, right? We can do this. Yes. Bam. Eight Dax. Uh, six, seven, eight. Threes. Re rolling because I charged. Didn't roll a one. Alright, eight wounds minus two. Okay. Three up becomes five up. That's a pretty good roll. That's not bad. Three, one alive. Cool. Leadership. Seven, we're dead. Go to four because the captain can't kill himself to stay alive. <laughs> So you can go claim the objective if you'd like. Right. So can I even do that? Sure. Oh, because I can move. I can pivot first, that's right? So and you go through your front the units, right? So here, I'll just pivot like this. You got it. He's probably just gonna come back. Mm, right there. Tasty. I can use them. I use the halberdiers because they're all dead too. Cool. I'm gonna come back right there. Gonna go for it with some cav. I'm gonna place uh, Sansa. Oh really? Sansa's going to go on tactics. Oh really? I'm gonna place a uh, panic on these guys. I see. Well, then these fools are just going to do a maneuver. Uh, and that basically just means they're gonna move sideways. Like this. Boop. And all said and done. Over to you. Okay. They are now done. They've activated? Nope. They maneuvered for free. Go. Yeah. Okay. Free maneuver? Yes. So we're gonna pivot. I'm just trying to do this lack really don't wanna. So this is the corners, let's say. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna pivot, so we're facing this way like so. Just move. Uh-huh. 
be to here. Just go straight for here, and they're gonna pivot. It should be like so. And charge. I'm gonna try. Go for it. So D6. Uh, you, you just need to not roll one. Okay. I think if you get a one, you still get it. It's just gonna be disorderly. Cool. Do I have cool stuff to you? Probably. Coming. I'm just coming. There's a charge. Okay. Your opponent may not play tactics or use orders. Sweet. So they're in. You make it. All right. I'm gonna do paid media on them before you even. We switch and you activate actually. So I'm gonna do paid media on them first. Just try and kill that last rank. Make a morale test. Okay. Uh, so six. Good. Good. I'm gonna play Northern Ferocity as well, yeah. so that you are vicious. Uh, oh, sorry, it's tag against Sundering when you make the attack. Yep. Three rolling because he charged and on fours. Fours. Nope. And re-rolling. Nope. Seven. seven. Pretty okay. good. Uh, so seven four up saves. Sundering becomes five up saves because it's normally three up. Yep. So fives. I'm gonna play. Oh, I can't play tactics because he's literally telling me. Yeah. So fives. I'll pass one. Do six. Mm-hmm. Test. So it's a minus one for the flank. Yep. Seven plus normally becomes a eight plus. Eight. Do the six because of the panic token? Okay. Good. Okay. And you take <laughs> and now you make him around minus two because of superiority. All right. Six. I lose zero. Four. So you lose four. Uh, so no, no, I lose six. So I lose two guys. Yeah. Okay. You played a panic test because that wasn't order. That's just an ability I have. Yeah. You done? Uh, Cersei. But why? <laughs> Minus three, we'll touch them. Okay, so they're nine. Eight. Minus three, eight. So they'll take a wound, but I'm gonna play. Uh, Fireball's Fervor. Uh, I get plus one in panic test, and an additional plus one for each destroyed rank. Okay, so plus two. So I pass them. There yeah, you go. Can fight at full power. Go for it, hit me. Okay. So you have all your ranks, so eight attacks. Mm -hmm. No reels though. No reels though, yeah, and on fours. Ah! Oh, so three. Okay. Minus three. one. Uh, I'm going to use Wealth of the Rock. Actually, you know what? I don't even care. Three, sure. So th uh, three dead, but mm -hmm. then I'll kill a fourth one so that I auto-pass, and you make a morale test at minus four. Okay. Ten. Seven, dead. So he's That's dead. three, yep. Yeah. Uh, Nine. Yep. And now it kind of doesn't matter what I do, but I'm going to charge. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do. So I go 10. Yep. So 10 is good. Ah, sorry. Uh, yep, yeah, just good. Okay. Then I'll get 10 attacks. Three for the Mountains Men with plus two for Jamie. Good thing I reroll everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, you take 11. Sorry, 10 because that's a miss. 10 hits because the six explodes. So 10 four up saves. 10. Okay. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Four up. You suffer three. Not bad. One guy blows up. Yeah, one guy blows up. And then morale at minus two because we're vicious. Yep. So you roll seven. Okay. Three afterwards if you want. Yeah. And go and sideways. Uh, so they go six plus d6. You can't end an inch from me though, or move an inch from me. Which I'm too close to the edge there for you to move sideways and get outside of an inch. So Yeah, not that we matter anymore because I can't get here is the problem. Yeah. I should have charged them first. Them. Yeah. And then done his extra attacks afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And that might have yeah. might have been uh, the tipping point. That probably would have killed me. You're right. Because yeah. end of the round, I'll go to 10, rolling this, yep. and you'll still be at, I think you've got two unit kills, and now you're going to go plus three more, so six, because you got my commander, that's right. End of the game oh, for the Lannisters. I've done that. Oh, it really close then, right? Because you were off the all objectives. That's right, yeah. So we go, end of the game, the Lannisters managing to... Uh, <sighs> to get the early the early points. It's early in the book series. It is early in the book series, it's true, yeah. <laughs> um, it does seem to be, especially in these like fixed token missions, that whoever jumps them early and then kills a couple units tends to be the thing that, that gets it. And this yep. one in particular, yep. being able to take the flanks early on, yep. so you could only deploy on your side, meant I kind of controlled the whole axis of the battlefield, yep. Yep. which was a big deal. No, um, and then the fact that on turn two I scored three? Yeah, you got four, five, because I got, oh, sorry, I got six actually on turn two, because I got, and I almost won on turn two by just taking the center if I made yeah. that charge. Yeah. But getting Rob and a unit for three, and then scoring the centers for two more turns meant that it was it was a quick trip a to ten. A quick trip to ten, yeah. Um, you had tons of maneuverability though, which was great. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and I think the ability of like being able to come on 12 from your own edge, that's a pretty big move for this game. Because that's oh, yeah. basically a march. Absolutely. For almost everybody, right? Yeah. Which makes you yeah. super fast. It's good for your guys who are slow. Who are, well, exactly. For the, yeah. I, I actually, it's funny because I think that actually benefited the Lannisters more than the Starks oh, in yeah. this case. 100%. Because we have 4-inch movement and 5-inch movement, yeah. so being able to 12. deploy 12 is a huge deal. Not that you actually did that. You always played in the flanks anyway. <laughs> I, I did because it, at that point, yeah, by deploying the flanks, well, by deploying the flanks, you were coming, you had to come forward from your side, and I just had you surrounded. Yes, and then, from your side, right? Sense. And then why well, I, I reliably know that my guards, as long as you don't know winter is coming me, will just always pass their morale. They'll hold, yeah. They'll just hold. hold. They'll, they'll hold for one round at least. And in this game, holding for one round is the difference between maybe four VPs or not if you're holding off four objectives. Yes, as that's, they pass right. Morale. that's right. As they pass morale. <laughs> and if you Cersei them, as we saw, yeah. and you, you snake eyes a roll, the Cersei plus the, the last superiority is a huge deal. Yeah. Um, and because that was off activation, because you did it off the the, um, the tactics board, um, it got around your winners coming as well because the, the actual attack I couldn't do that on, but then when you chose to do that, Instead of charging me with the knights. Yeah, that was Although a, I think that if you I think if you charge me with the knights, I was just gonna kill you with the, the mountains men. But in a closer game. Wouldn't, wouldn't have been over. You no, know, because I was just maneuver on the objective. I would have won either way. If I killed them with the knights, I just would have gone and sat on the objective afterwards. Because you, so? you would probably killed me, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You might have killed me, you might not have killed me, but if you don't kill me to a man, you have to kill every single one of them on the charge. Yes. I had a two plus save card in my hand still, and right. I have a three plus save normally, so charging in the front with the right. cav but is not very good. You're down to two guys. Yeah. Right now. But that was but that was after the second round of attacks from your. That's your what I mean, right? Because I could have got both. If I'd done the opposite order. Yes, yes, right, you could have done both. If I charged them first and yeah. then did that guy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Those guys could have killed two dudes. Yeah, <laughs> quite possible. Yeah. Quite possible. But it was, again, it was like the inevitable. I just needed one more unit after that and it was done. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but again, if I had gotten a unit, I was at six. That puts me to eight. You're right. Yeah, that puts you at eight. If you don't kill me, that puts you at seven, actually. Puts you at seven. Eight if you hold that objective at the end of the round. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Which I was assuming yeah. I would. But uh, maybe I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Eight, and then you just need two more on the end of the round. But it's immediate, too. Yep. Because the win triggers are just like mid round. You just win. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. one more charge and that's it. So, yeah, it's, so it's think, a. Should I have left Grey Wind on the flank? Because I moved him first to not get charged. I never think he should be in combat. People think he should be in combat. I don't. He just seems he's like a unit combat. holder. He's no, he's just free. He should just sit on buttons. He's free. He's no points. He comes with your commander and he's an extra activation. I think he's just a late turn activation that just goes and sits on buttons. I had him running towards the middle. That's what I would The middle is already held though by the mountain. The mountain's looking at both those objectives. No, 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 I just mean like early In game. General. Early game, I would just head, head towards the objective, like the center. Well, you only start and then, the scoring turn two. But if he's your last activation in the turn, yeah. he can maneuver almost anywhere. So he can maneuver then march, right? And just go yeah. sit on it. Yeah. I, I, I would have grabbed the center with him on turn two. But that's. He's just. He's, your position to charge him was a problem. Remember, that's why I backed up all the Yeah, way. yeah. I'm just saying is if you had activate me for that turn, because you go second, because right. I went first in the first turn, you went second in the right. second turn, so that probably wouldn't have worked. Yeah. But just if you can count activations, right? Honestly, activation counting in this game is such a huge deal. Oh, yeah. To know when to that's go. Right. Amazing. And that's why I think Graven's amazing, because he's yeah. always putting you one ahead of me, because you have four or five to my four. So even if I go first, it's actually worse for me. Yes. You're automatically going after me. So Graven's always getting to go last and always getting to jump the sec so center on turn two. I think they uh, they showed off some wildlings, which are super yeah. dirt cheap. Yeah. And when you kill them, they don't, they don't give away VPs. That's right, because <laughs> no one cares. Garbage. They're just garbage. <laughs> um, and the giants, which are gray winds that are just amazing. <laughs> they're, they're basically mountains. They're mountains that ride. like, And they have, like, they, they always, it takes two wounds to cause a wound against them. Right. And they ignore they, any excess. The, and they automatically do D3 plus one wound, plus one for every wound they have on them. Yes. So if they, have, if they have five they're wounds. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're, D, they're D, I think it's D3 plus five. <laughs> just guys just get obliterated. So it's, holy crap. It's so good. Really, More really factions, cool. That's the game. I, I'm honestly, I like, because the. I, I want to paint a unit Stark Bowman for my Starks. I have eight units painted now. Mm -hmm. I need to get the character pack, obviously, when it comes out. Like, nothing's out yet. Like, right. When you guys are watching this, like, there's this, I think this stuff comes out this weekend, so we don't have access to anything that's not in the starter set. Um, but the neutral deck, like, the neutral characters, I don't think I'd buy any Boltons, because they don't seem that good. Like, the, like, the Flayed Men are I'm amazing. Really, the knight, the knights the are really cool. And I have, but that's the thing, is we haven't seen the tactics deck. So for me, I can't, I just look kind of at the stats I can see, and I'm like, yeah, you just seem like kind of okay start. Like they, it, the neutrals look like they're designed Bolton, to augment. Scumbags. Well, the aug, but they look like they're designed Bolton, to augment Bolton, other you factions. Be scumbag to be you, you would have to be. You'd have to be a terrible scumbag. Roos is a good guy in most of it, but then Roos is like baby. Uh, what's his name? Ba baby. No. Um, Roos is like baby. Uh, he's bas basically baby. What's his name? Lannister. Uh, uh, Tywin. Oh, he yeah, wants to be yeah, Tywin yeah. Lannister, but he doesn't have any money, so he can't really be Tywin Lannister. But he's a schemer. Yeah. He's kind of a schemer. So anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see it for more Game of Thrones in the future. Um, hopefully, we'll probably wait until more stuff's out now to, to, to paint and play some more. Uh, just have more variety of units because obviously all we have access to is the starter set. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you for more in the future. Big thanks for Clarence playing. Big thanks for watching. Thanks, Tom Ash. Have a good one.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.